prayer. Do you? Where's that? Right here. Right here. Okay, you got the prayers and the praises sheet. Did everybody get a chance to put that on? We're going to be putting that at checkout and check in now so that you can just sign it when you come in. Go ahead, Beth. She's getting a new group this weekend. It's a holiday. Mm -hmm. And we also would like you to take care of our children, grandchildren, our neighbors, for all of the kids that are going back to school this year. We hope that they have a great year and keep Jerusalem safe. We ask your blessing and we ask your help in Stephanie's family, her daughter, Haley, and the children. Um, I forgot as we were talking about Disney, right before Jersey gets up, I wanted to recognize <laughs> our top two point earners. Hey, Mary. Um, our top two point earners to date so far. So I need Kirsten and Kelly to come on up here. Kirsten and Kelly. Now, Kirsten's never been to Disney. Woo! So she would like to resort. She's going to just love wearing these layers. <laughs> so Kelly has already over 1,200 points. Woo! 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 And Kirsten has over 2,100 points. Woo! We'll give yours a different. Woo! Oh, it's a change. Yeah. Um, they look so cute. They are so cute. And the hat they have to stay on for real. Okay. Stand we all the, need to take a wait, picture. Stand in front yeah. of the castle. Hold up your. Hold <laughs> up your Move over right in front of the castle with your Tinkerbell awards. Huh? Over, over. Here's an over here. Yeah. Keep moving. Okay. Ready right there. Stop right so there. I can see the castle. Kelly, step that way just a tad. Good, good, good. You Mom, can come in. Yep. Yeah, okay. Ball. Ready? <laughs> Trish, your photo bomb. <laughs> okay. Now let me do a real one. <laughs> Why they haven't figured out for you? Yeah. No, I mean like you know. So um, Kirsten's gonna go. I already just explained my distress. She's gonna um no. Everyone's you have to come on. Because of our uh, hair. <laughs> so like Gosh, I said, Kirsten is the top list. point earner on the team for the trip so far. She Woo! already has six gem members. Woo! She's a designer Woo! and she's a hard worker and a, and um, she's gonna go over real quick about. The gem and the shine option. So go ahead, Kirsten. Yes, I'm excited about my hat. Can you see Kirsten's trick? Huh? Or should we move it a little bit? Nope. You can see everything? Okay, good. Okay, guys, so who is excited about the gem membership? Woo! Yeah, you guys yeah. You guys know what it is. Uh, yeah, check your emails. You can't go down you don't know what it is. My okay, so what is it? So the GEM membership is Premier's new frequent shopper or customer rewards program. So basically, Premier at Rally, they were telling us that, that all these other companies have this, but they wanted to make the best one out there, and I really do think that it is. Um, it's designed for your GEM members to be loyal to you. They are only connected to you. So when you sign up a GEM member, when they log into their gem, it is assigned to you. How awesome is that? They can't go use it with another jeweler. 
So I thought that was super duper awesome. Um, So it is $39 for a one-year membership, which honestly, when you figure out with the discount, that is like nothing, especially for your ladies who you know are going to frequently shop with you or love the jewelry. It's it's a win-win. So they get 20% off of every single purchase that they make, um, which is 20% off the retail. Um, they get free shipping on any order, $75 or more. That is after the discount. So if they spend $75, and then it's 20% off. That's no longer $75 retail, so they have to get to $75 to get the free shipping. Does that make sense? So they're already saving five or seven bucks there, depending if they want to send it to the hostess or not. And then Premier's going to send them special perks. Um, we don't know what those are yet, but I'm sure they're going to be great. Through their email, so they can just click it, and then it gives them more of a reason to shop again with you. So I'm excited to see what those are. I bet they're going to come out with some cool colors. Okay, so there's two different ways that your GEM members can sign up. The first one is through your personal website. So do you see, I know that's really tiny, sorry. <laughs> it looked bigger when I was making it. Um, do you see the little GEM, thank you. That's literally right next to the search bar if they search for a piece of jewelry. They click that and they literally click join now. And if they already have a login, they can just go there and log in. Or they can actually go in and log in on premierdesigns.com even if they don't have your um, special website and it's still linked to you. So I think that's awesome too. Um, the second way is you, when they place an order with you, you go into their order and just click on the very left hand side it says add gem membership in the pink box. That's really easy. Um, just a little side note, like if you see an order come in or something and it's like $100, say hey girl, like, can I add the gem membership for you? That's a way that I've gotten a couple people and they didn't even know about it yet because it's brand new. So it's definitely Okay, so what happens after they sign up? Right when you submit the order, they become a GEM member, and they're going to get an email from Premier that says something like, Hi, Susie, thanks for signing up for to be a GEM member. Click here to set up your password, and then they can go ahead and log in again. So it's not like official until they can set up their password, and then I just reiterate to them how the two ways that they can log in again to submit the email. Um, so if they sign up July, or what's it say, August 15th, then it's good till 2019, August 15th. Does that make sense? It's one thing a year. Okay, so the membership fee is $39. That is the retail and that is the jeweler cost. It's not commissionable. You don't make anything off of it. However, it's a great program, so you, it still counts towards um, hostess benefits, though, which is really, really cool. So mm -hmm. say someone at your show orders um, jewelry, and the gem membership is $39. It's added to the subtotal, and we know the subtotal is always um, added to the sales of what the hostess gets. So that's what great. And what? Into, into Disney. Disney. Everything's Disney related to Disney. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot I had these on already. <laughs> Leave it go. So, so just like the gem membership, um, the jewelry is taxed to wherever they're sending it to, so it's a gem membership. They can get the gem membership by itself if they want to. Um, but why not add a piece of jewelry? They get 20% off right then and there. I have a real quick question. What if they're going to get sent to the hostess's house? It's the taxable rate to the yeah, hostess's it's still, house. Yeah, it's still like, yeah, like when you like if are at a, a show, show and they, yeah, yeah. If it's sent to the hostess and it's 6% and they live in somewhere at 7%, they're still sending it to the hostess. So, so it's, it's still the 6 Yeah, okay. still So the not same. their mailing address. It's wherever it's getting shipped that time that they sign up. Yeah, I guess. Okay. So. But then if they get it shipped to home and they live in Allegheny County another then time, then they're going to be paying the shipping address. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah, so that's the difference between direct shipping. Okay. Um, it doesn't auto-renew each year, they told us, so they're not obligated to, you know, keep their card, like, on file or anything, which is, you know, Premier's being safe about that. So then when their membership comes up, I'm sure they'll send us an email saying, your gem member's time to renew, just like jewelers, it's time to renew, so then you can just follow up with them and tell them about that. Okay, so this is a little example of a GEM membership versus a non-GEM membership. You guys can find all this information on your um, dashboard. It, it has all the new information just in the middle. It says GEM membership. That's why I got all of this, just so you know for future references. Okay, so let's say that the GEM member, or is $100 in retail, it takes off 20% right there, so that's they're saving $20. 
They spent $80 subtotal. That's after the 20%. It's now $75 or more. So they get free shipping. Does that make sense now? And then um, total is $119 plus tax. A non-GEM member still spends $100 in, in jewelry retail. Um, they don't get a discount. They still spend money on direct ship, $7. That's $107. So you can tell your people, spend $100, get your GEM membership for $12. Isn't that crazy? And if they spend, because uh, they're recouping the membership fee already. Um, so if they spend $163, we figured out, their GEM membership is free. And you know some of those ladies like, who's, like randomly come at 2 o'clock like, get this GEM membership, like, you know? So then yeah. it, it's a no-brainer. I really love that. So yeah, I had a lady sign up, and she already recouped it from one order. Like, yeah, yeah, honestly. Mm -hmm. Or if you already days. know, like, like, you could say, you know, if you already know that they're going to be spending another, spending money again, like, you know, it's a shame. I don't know who would. Okay, so you're probably wondering how this relates to the profit that we make. So, Premier still wants us always to make 50% because they're super duper awesome that way. So the way they explained it to us is, again, I pulled this right off of our website, our accounts. After, no, I'm going to, okay, so after the discount is $80, right? You're still making 50% off of that $80, so now you're making $40. You could say, okay, well, yeah, I could have sold that at $100 and made $50. Well, I made $10, but you, you might not ever get a sale from that person again. So it is worth getting them the gem membership because they're more likely to use it. Like if they're walking down, you know, Kohl's or something to see a necklace or whatever, like, oh, I have that gem membership. Like, well, nobody goes to that. You know what I mean? So. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. It's kind of hard to. The loyalty is. I just tried to make mm -hmm. it. I think Premier, <laughs> getting the Premier Marketing side of it, they're going to do that. going to be the big thing, and we don't know what that is. And so they're going to do that all trust them. Right. We just have yeah. to trust it's going to be good, so I hope they do it too. I have a question. Yes. So often. Yeah, right. oh, exactly. That. They're not using it. Yes. So do you want me to stop for questions now for Jim, or just do it all on the spot? No, stop after Jim. If Sarah has a okay. question. Okay, yeah. Sorry. So well, I also heard somewhere... Doesn't, if they're a gem member, so say you meet them at a show, they sign up to be a gem member. Yeah. Then they're hosting a show. That Their $5 is the hostess. Isn't that shipping also free if they're a gem member? Yes, that's a good point. I forgot about that. Yeah, so okay. um, if they're a gem member or you add their gem membership onto their hostess at order, their it show. automatically takes that 5 bucks off. So, so if they're really the they're, hostess and yeah. they sign up that night, they pay the 39 as a hostess. Yes. But then their shipping's free that night. Yes. Okay. And they do not get the 20% off of the 50 it's anything else that they spend retail. So any retail amount over Yeah, so if they use all okay. their free, then they use all their half off. If they decide, I need another item, it's 20% off. But okay. they still get that free hosted shipping as many times as they want to be hosted host. throughout the year. Okay. Yeah, so I think that's just like, that could why would too. you want to save five bucks? Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. And also just to share, it is $39. Yeah, you can do special if you want. Ooh. If you want to say, hey, here's $39, but because you're at this show or because whatever, I'm going to give it to you for free. Whatever. Or you can say it's $39, but you're going to also owe me not only a 20% off, but get from me retail software. Yeah. Some people were giving like a free it girl bracelet. I mean, especially if you're retired. Yeah, you that's what I was doing because like you're still spending ten dollars on that. If you need to do bracelet. anything, if a girl's gonna spend over a hundred dollars, yeah. she's gonna. It's if they plan to buy from you at least one more time throughout the whole next year, it pays for itself. I would really push it on hostesses too because mm -hmm. that hostess knows if you got bookings at that show, they're gonna she's spend gonna go money. to that show. Right. So right away, she's saving on her shipping and money at those shows. Exactly. So yeah. I would definitely that's not let point. it go. With would the you hostess. offer that as a hostess incentive? No, I didn't. I would not. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. I don't yeah, because we still have to pay the thirty nine dollars. That's the jewel. Yeah, cost. and there's no way for us to like compensate that. Like sort of how like you do with other things. Right. Like, like you nothing. can change the retail like on your orders like you can with an application to be the jewelry but and you'll still be paying full tax like you're, and still you, be you're not getting half off so we don't really yeah i mean you can by all means but you're not if you we like, don't have any flexibility with yeah. it to compensate ourselves yeah like if you want to do a drawing in your vip group so and so gets so many sales someone gets free membership well, that's like, a good idea know, too something yeah. like that you can do that but just make sure it's worth it for you you know because yeah. you are paying that out can i ask a question and i'm sure you already answered <laughs> <laughs> 
yeah, okay. I just sit things through it. You yeah. Know? Like, so if the hostess does get it, um, and you said her shipping is free. Does that mean every order she gets is free shipping, shipping, or does she spend several times a month? No, no, no it's, it's just the hostess that. order. Okay. Good yeah. question. Yeah, yeah, so if they add it on as a hostess, their shipping on their hostess order is it's free. free. But then yeah. she has to spend 75 yeah, because then she becomes yeah. a normal customer with a gem membership after her show. Okay. Okay. Yeah, good question. She has to spend seventy five after her drink count, right? Yep. So it has to be the seventy five dollars retail at the discount. So uh, like the and the twenty percent doesn't apply to the fifty percent off items. Yeah. No, because then it would be seventy percent off, and they would have to place a retail to, order for their own show. Right. Right. Okay. Yeah. All right. right. Yeah. Like some people, if they don't have enough, they have four half off items and they want five items, they'll just get the fifth or something. Okay. Okay. If anybody else has any questions after about Jeff, you can ask okay. any of us or yeah, Mama or me or whoever. Yep, we got it done. <laughs> we yep. got it done. Okay. <laughs> so there's a new boutique option. Who knows about it? Raise your hand. Okay, so I think it's pretty exciting. They added um, a new flexible option for us to sign up new jewelers. So it's called the Shine option. Yes, all the other three boutiques are still available, which still give them the best value. However, this option is possible for people who either really can't get the rewards card or they can't pay anything up front. And they really want to start now, and they, it's just kind of a more flexible option for them. So it is $45 each month. That includes their website. And initially when they sign up with that, <coughs> they get $45 in jewelry to pick just like you normally would. They can still use that 50% off discount right away if that's not enough for them. But that's like maybe a piece or two. Um, they still get $25 in business essentials, which is anything, order form, postage package, what have you, catalogs. And like I said, it comes with the website. Okay, so like I already explained what they get initially. And then they get stuff quarterly. So after three months, they'll get another $45 in jewelry and $25 in business essentials. Then after six months, it changes. They get $45 in jewelry. No more business essentials. After nine, they get another $45 in jewelry. So throughout the whole year, they are getting a total of $180 in jewelry throughout the year. And they always have that 50% off discount, or they can host their own show and get free jewelry just like any other jeweler can. Does that make sense so far? Yes. Plus they're getting the web subscription. Which is yeah, easy. because that's already $14.95 plus tax, mm. so it, it's in with that, which I think is a great you, deal. You don't have to make two payments. You don't have to make two payments. Yeah. Okay, so You're the cheating success cheating. bonuses. If you're not familiar with those, they're like little um, incentives. Success that, that incentives. The incentives <laughs> for yeah, that you get paid as the jeweler's mama when they accomplish certain things. So, for example, if they complete their quick six, you get $100. If they um, achieve rookie team, you get $100. If When they submit their first group order, you get $100. So, all of those apply except for the $100 you get when they submit their first group order. And Premier made a really good point with this. Um, so, say Kelly has a new jeweler and they submit their first group order, you know, at a show or whatever. Um, she's not going to get paid that hundred dollars because Premier um, didn't want to have the problem where Kelly would say, "Oh, I'll just pay your forty-five dollars. We'll have your training show, and then they'll pay you a hundred dollars, and you just made sixty fifty-five dollars. So it becomes a buy-in then, and they wanted to avoid that. That's yeah. a good point. Yeah. So mm -hmm. at first, I was like, "What do you mean? We're not going to get hundred dollars?" Like. You know, you're still going to be the mama and train them and everything, but you're just not getting that success bonus. So you just have that to make sense. sure, you know, you're, what? That, that makes, makes sense. sense. Yeah. yeah. You're just going to make sure, you know, you do the best you can to help them reach that quick six and whatever. And like, you know, obviously the quick six is meant to get them off their feet anyway. Yeah. So, yeah. So I think, you get I think it was that. Did I what? You don't you get anything if they hit quick six? Yeah. Yeah. You still get the quick six, $100. Okay. And if they sign up two jewelers in the first six months. I would just make sure to get a really, like, to get, a, like, to have a good relationship and a good commitment from them right. before I put all my... Exactly. Like, me and Amanda were discussing, like, you know, we're still going to push for the regular boutiques because it's the best value for them, more jewelry and everything. But the 45 is an option. It makes them work harder for it, too. It, yeah. You know what I mean? It 
does. I wanted to see that they only got forty-five dollars in jewelry, unless they've been a hostess and have all this jewelry. <laughs> Questions on the shine. Well, that was just like a really summarized version. Very nice. I, I got that off quick. I was just going to ask you. I haven't had a chance to look at that university, but is a, is that kind of spelled out? I looked at the gem membership yeah. through the university, but is that? In there too, like a lot of what you just shared. I got this yeah. off of like, you know, when you're on your dashboard and it has all the new stuff. It yeah. just said forty five dollar thing okay. clicked on it. It was right there. It probably is the university. Okay. That stuff's that's awesome too, guys. All the Premier University has all the videos and all the this and really good. It's stuff. a lot easier to yeah. navigate. Yeah, if you guys ask whatever. I have a thought. I think it's just been told to tell people okay. they don't they can just try to put like Right, for people who might want to just have cash Christmas, or right. I just have friends say, I might do a nominal lunch, just $45, and they might love it, you're like, well, you're doing it. Right, right. And they only have to, they only have to sell $9. No, but I, like, where? They just don't, yes. They don't. They just don't. It's like, I think they can set it up as a direct deposit. But this um, is a $45 ship that will be coming out the other six months. They have to go yeah. on it. No. They have yeah. to go yeah. on it. I mean, I have to go on it. Yeah. Yeah. They just want to give it a try. Yeah. Just try it for a month. Yeah. I have not signed anybody up with it yet. So I don't know if there's like a, you know how you can just put your card in on our system for our website. I don't know that you can do that or not. But the point is it's just 45 a month. You decide after a month they don't want to do it. They'll find out a month. Okay, then they don't. They won't be right. taking it out of your credit card. Anymore. Yes, they will continue to take it. Right? You have to actually. Call you have to call them. It's not. A, you're not supposed. We're not. I didn't think we're promoting it as a. You're not promoting it as a month to month thing. Okay. And my well, then they lose all that free jewelry too well, that they'd be getting. Well, they, That's why they have yeah, that program like it every rally, three like, months. Different. They, they said uh, that they they want you. If they don't it pay it one month, then they go inactive, and after the yep. second month, but you don't want to tell them. They don't have no. I know. They're getting rid of annual renewals and they're calling them automatic renewals. But it will charge their card automatically. Automatically. File. It's not going to be like you have to say, oh, yeah, I want to do it again. Do it's like you, it it's will just keep taking it. It will keep taking it. They missed one month payment. So that jewelry is still active and has her website, whatever. but she cannot yeah. submit a show until she pays her balance. If she doesn't pay for two months in a row, she inactive. Yeah. She can still she can submit still a show. If she doesn't pay for two months in a row, she's inactive. She doesn't have her website. Her gem members roll up to the mama, and until she pays that ninety dollars, she still can't submit anything. Now, it, like, it, but does it come out of her bank account? Whatever card so, she gives them for their initial forty-five is the card they're going to take forty-five. Like how you use yeah. it for time. your um, website, whatever you card you have on file. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah. It's, and like you can even say cards. you can try it for a season. If you're not yeah. sure you want to do it for a whole year, yeah. it's a good way of trying. Yeah, but just they need to know though that you can't. They right. have to. They have they to. Have to call. It. You've got to be careful like how you like present it. Yeah. yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Because be like, you want them. You want the commitment yeah. from them still. Exactly. Right. Because you want them to commit they can still try and to it take it seriously. Because one show usually takes care of that. So yeah. I never say. It's just hard yeah, me neither. I don't want to. I put a lot of work into new girls and like yeah. to say, yeah. oh, just try it for one month. Like, what about the time I put into it? So you just have to be very careful. And it's on your personal preference too. I'm not willing to give myself. We can talk more about this too after training. But we're gonna go ahead and move on to some fun fashion. Woo woo! All right. So I would. Would you have more faith than like you know? The beginning of our catalog is the lookbook. You know, like the first half roughly. This is. I'm gonna show you page six. So the Marvel bracelet. If you have not seen this yet, make sure you take a look. Notice it's a little more oblong. So our tiny wristed people. It fits, it looks awesome. It looks amazing on black, white, lots of colors, rose gold. It's very in. The ravishing ring also goes well. So imagine this ensemble together with your fanfare earrings. I figured this didn't really go with my ensemble, so put on her too. And this is swoon. I love this one. People aren't using this. And you can adjust the back is a super soft sweet adjustable cord so that it's not hitting in a bad area because we're all different in this region right just like we're all different everywhere you can adjust up or down if you've got something on your shirt that's hitting in the way too you can move it up or down and i also want to show yeah, it, it up for you i just want to slide it right underneath here yep 
I wanted to show it on the white as well. In the catalog, she's got that real pretty that white. And then she's got that like pink silky, almost like robe looking kimono type thing. Yeah. Um, but look how that rose gold really pops on the white compared to the black. So the lighter the color, the more you're going to see the rose golds. Now there's my rose gold again, mashed up to white rather than black. How gorgeous is that? Fanfare. Did anybody notice I added the jacket on? When I did the Disney skit, I didn't have the jacket on. Have you worn them without the jacket yet? Yeah. I wore like, them is to that school. What that's about? Uh -huh. A jacket? Yeah. I wore them to school all day without the jacket on. Call it the fan. I'm not sure if I can do that. <laughs> It's very it's easy to take off, off, and I feel like you get a around. lot more use because you don't always have room for that. That it's beautiful, but that is not an everyday. This it's super cute. I like it's to wear much those easier. without a necklace because I think they do a lot without, without a necklace. But yeah. with my necklace, I wore this today. I felt like this was too much with the jacket. This went a lot. Yeah. You, you get the idea. You know what I mean? It looks like but Kelly. Seven. Okay, Kelly's up. Very pretty. You want black, right? You don't need this. I got. I got it. She wore it. I wore it. She right, is pretty I came prepared. Get noticed. <laughs> Go for it. Get noticed. Who loves this necklace? Woo! I've sold so many of it. I see it's on a little bit different, so it's a little bit longer back there. I love this one because you can do it with the silver, the hematite. I have my eight girls, so I have all three bracelets on. Um, I usually just stack them, but I like the other one oh, that's to be cute. reversed, that's just to give it a different look. So if I have all three on. I just kind of switch it. A lot of people have been taking these off my table and they want the little things below. How about you guys? I like it like that. So you can do it this way too. Ooh, I like it like that. I like mix them up. Yeah, mix them up. Yeah, I never thought of wearing that. <laughs> There's one. The Sicilian earrings, I think, pair really good with this. So in case you don't have the other earrings to go with it, this is to get noticed. And then you have your try rings, whatever it's yeah. called. Try it. Long. Try it. Mm -hmm. Can you make that long? She has it on long. Oh, you now, can you stand up, honey? Yes, thank you. So there it is. Oh, so there it is. Wow. That's the longest it gets. Perfect. Long. <laughs> yeah, I love <laughs> this. Look, look how cute that is. Long. And look, it's a different is color, it, and look how it pops on that. So there's your black. Yeah. There's your cream color. It does look good in all different colors. Um, really pretty. Especially on the purple. Pretty, One of my shows, the lady had a purple shirt on, and she tried this on, and that oh. made it pop, too. Oh, so it looks really good on a lot of different colors. Rose gold. Rose gold, yeah. It's a That's good really mix. pretty. That's a good mix it's there. a definite good eye mix. popper. Yeah, yeah, and it's light too for people who yeah, have like neck issues. Because like yep. you girl, always get that question. Is this high? Yes. Okay, you guys, I, I have on like this is my favorite necklace. I wear it like all the time. Just throw it on and go. The bronze beauty, and it has the gold and hematite mix, which was really I just thought that was really cool. So <laughs> Holly, oh God, wait. All right. <laughs> here, how about if I take it off back here, okay? <laughs> yeah, I forgot I had these on. Those ears, they're work hazard. Okay. <laughs> You're not used to having ears on top of your head? <laughs> like, what are you talking about? Yeah, I am. Yeah. Okay. So, Holly um, told me that you can flip up this part. Yeah. So, literally, all you would do is just feed the necklace through that. Yeah, that's oh, that's cute. Wow. I didn't see them present like, just like that. So that's why I don't think they do. But people come up with creative things all the time, but they probably were like, I didn't think that would do that. So anyway, so I it's think really this cute. would look really cute with a um, like Kirsten has the engraved bar necklace on in gold. Yes. That would look super that would adoration, be cute. adoration in gold. Um, maybe the short strand of daring, not the sparkly side because it came tight. You know, mix it up. Because I think it looks good when something's layered right there. I think it'll look cute with that dream builder, the little oh, necklace. Oh, yeah. The little oh, inside of the gold dream yeah. builder. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's cute. Mm -hmm. Just to give it a different oh, and more reveal. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have it on with the bold and beautiful. Is that what it's called? I love that. I like yeah, this because yeah. it looks like you're wearing three bracelets, but it's just one. And it's, it pretty, it's pretty light. Is it comfy? Yeah. I hate bangles. I like this. Yeah. The Egyptian like look. Really? Oh, okay. It's like bangles, but not really bangles. So yeah. this is like... <laughs> The geometric, like, oh, style. Yeah, and then I have the flip-flop yeah. ring on, which it's sparkly on one side. All you literally do is flip it around, and now it's not sparkly. So that's flip-flop. And I like to wear this necklace a lot with the hematite um, splendid watch and the gold it covers. You're too Yes. Yeah. Oh, you're not showing a piece? Just yeah. Oh, okay, good. Okay, so this is the ultra 
Vibrant. Vibrant Gems. Yes, oh, no. Ultra Vibrant I Gems. Love oh, this piece. It's been a really big seller. So it comes like this. It has a little pulley back here so you can make it short if you want. This is removable. So again, you can wear that just like that. One of, this is Stacy. Stacy showed me. If you pull this tight like a choker and then you take your strand and bring it around. These have little gems on each side. Look how cute that is. Um, then this piece here, it can be worn as a bracelet, and the tassels are removable, so you can wear them off the bracelet, you can add them on up here, um, tons you can do with this piece, really big seller, I think that these look super cute, anybody, what are the names of these? Dreamer, Dreamer. Dreamer. Stacy, show me these too, because <laughs> um, she had them on, but they look super they look cute, really and they're pretty. old, from the old yep. stuff, um, and also pair as well with the new trendy bracelet, so you could wear the trendy bracelet, just as a bracelet, or you could layer that as well. Super cute. Um, bracelet, what's this bracelet called? Striking. Striking. <laughs> you can wear it with this sample as well. You can wear the diamonds on this side if you're feeling it. If you're not, you can just flip it over with no diamonds. Um, you can also add some engravables into it easily with the black. The black can be worn with everything. And then the real fine earrings. What? The black fanfare? Are they They're gold and black? Who has the black ones? Are they gold and black? black? Are they silver? They're silver. Oh, oh, they they look yeah, they look good. I didn't know if they were gold or black. So, lots you can do with this one. I love this one. Much more dainty than it looks in the book, and that's what I like about it. Okay. They're bottom. All right. Yep. White. What do you think about that? so discouraged. I'm so busy. Cut contact and contact everybody I know. I can't. I can't do it. I don't want to be pushy. I have no professional training. at my shows say no. I don't have enough jewelry. It just doesn't work for me anymore. Everybody, jewelers. <laughs> Everyone, <jewelers>. everybody. So we need to give you all the most classified piece we have. Yeah. What we're going to tell you tonight all need it. is truly not coming from a place of you should do this, you should do that. It's coming from a place of we have been there, we're either there, just left there, or we're going to be going into those dark places that we've all been. 
And so sometimes we just need to hear the honest truth. And so we are each going to share a couple things with you girls tonight because we want you to succeed in the reason that you signed up was for me. Okay? So please don't get offended or get mad or walk away. How badly do you want this to work for you? I want you to revisit your why. You have your why in your head. Why did you start this? Maybe you've forgotten. Maybe your why has changed. Okay. Maybe you started to pay the bills, to gain some friends. You loved the jewelry. You wanted to have fun, to give women purpose. But let's face it, most of us joined because we need the money for some type of financial gap in our lives. Are you saving? For a car, do you want to put a down payment on a house? Do you want to send your kids to college? Are you wanting a cash Christmas? Do you want to pay your student loans off? Or are you just trying to keep your water on the counter? Are you doing from here to make a full-time income? Whatever it is, always have in mind your why. You are, and this is going to drive your momentum. to make this happen. You have to do something to reach a goal. You can't just sit there and do nothing and expect it to be handed to you. Am I right? Right. You don't work it. It does not work for you. Are you planning time to intentionally work your business or are you not intentional with your time and you just, I'll get to it when I get to it and two weeks goes by and you have not made any text or any contact or any follow up with your staff? Yes, we all do it. It always happens. You go on vacation, you do this, you do that, school starts, kids are busy, but you still need to dedicate, even if it's 20 minutes a day, to sit down and keep up with everything that you're doing. Are you putting yourself out there and telling people that you just meet about Premiere to create new contact? Are you following up with those no's and those maybes? They're not always going to be no's and maybes. People's seasons change, their lives change. They might have said no six months ago, but maybe they want to get their Christmas are you accepting one failure and throwing in the towel? Meaning, are you taking that one no and getting so discouraged? You can take that one no and say, okay, I'm one step closer to that yes. Failure means fail, first attempt in learning. We all make some mistakes to learn how things work for us and to succeed. Are you telling yourself that you can do it, or are you speaking death into your business with words of doubt? I can't do this. I'm not good enough. Or are you speaking life into your business? I can do this. Women do want to get together, and they do love Premiere. You will get no's, you will get postponements, and you will get cancellations, but with these always comes the yeses to keep. Woo! Good job. Tonight's going to go together, um, how often are you trying and are you trying? And I'm going to start with a um, quote from J.J. Watt. I am a huge <laughs> not. <laughs> um, I, I'm not a huge professional football fan, but um, I do like J.J. Watt, and he says, success isn't owned, it's leased, and rent is due every day, and I swear that's 100% the truth, because with this business, if you're not working it, it's not going to work itself. How many times do you pick up the phone and you're like, oh, I hate making phone calls, right? I do it every single day, no matter who I'm at, if I'm calling the doctor's office or if I'm calling a patient show, you know, it's just so much easier to text that personal um, reaching out, you have to do it. Um, so who was our trainer that said, make a little bit of time every day for your premier business? I don't know who it was. But you have to make that time. Everybody, <laughs> pretty much. Yeah. Um, you can work your business like, full-time or part-time, but you can't make it no time, right? You have to put some time into your business or you're not going to have a business. Um, I try to do a little bit each day, so I'll take you know, 10 to 15 minutes if we're a little bit busy, if I have a little bit more time, I'll go through. My people will say, call me back. I have a whole list on my phone because notes get lost. My mm -hmm. phone doesn't, so I make a list on my on my phone. I have it into different sections. Call me later. Um, no, I will not have a show for you, but I'll be a shopper. And then my second one, or my third one, is I'll do a show for you some other time. Catch me like next week, next year. I write all that down so I can go back to my notes. 
I just did a um, 24 hour challenge myself. I sent out a, um, a list of about 30 people. I wanted to have at least 10 shows in my calendar for each month for the fall. So I sent out 30 text messages because I didn't want to call anyone. And I got five bookings out of it so far. I just said, Chris Dill, how are you? I'm in a 24-hour booking challenge, and I want to win in all capitals. Here's what I need. You pick a date in September, October, but I'll take any date until Christmas. Um, when you do this, I'll give you an extra free incentive, and then I just did two necklace emojis. Um, if you let me know today, I'll give you two incentives. Here's the online catalog to browse. Thanks so much. I didn't tell them because I think I'm going to do the April bracelet. They don't know. They're just going to, yeah, they're just going to get an incentive. You can do those stretch and make sure you do it. You can do anything. Oh, yes. so, and that can do you options, too. Uh -huh. I love that. So Absolutely. So, and it's short and sweet and to the point. Yeah. yeah. And one of them could be the husband wife bracelet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Just like the charm of the They have no idea. Yeah. But will you do something for a free incentive? Yeah. I'll do anything. Go to Victoria's Secret, you get a free bag. You'll go here, get something free. Yeah. I'll do anything, right? Right. Yeah. And yeah. so I was talking to Cal right before the, I was going in the gym yesterday, and I said, can, can you hurry up and send me that? I'm just going to send some out before my sets. So I got um, I got one. I only sent like maybe 10. But I got one yes for an October show. I got one that is doing a. Facebook show, but that Facebook show ended up around 400. So, um, so yeah. So if you want that, you know, we can get Kelly yeah, can get that to everybody. Kelly. <laughs> okay. Yep. You're good. Okay. So um, the two tips I have for you: Have you reached out to your upline? You know that when you signed up with Premier, you have your mom. Okay, that's your first line. And right now, too, it's pretty easy. With your, if you go to your family tree, you can see, forget which exact button hit. You ever on the right hand side? Have you ever done that? You can see your upline all the way up to the top of our, our family tree. So you have three people above you that are all vested in your interest and in how you do with Premier as well. You may not know them because they're spatially not here. <laughs> they might live out of state depending on where you fall along. I'm lucky my mama is here, so I'm direct contact with her. But the rest of my upline, I mean, live in Ohio. I don't exactly see them very often. A lot of you have the same upline. But they are more than willing to help. Um, they don't know, though, that you need to help unless you have to reach out to them. If we don't come calling you, asking for help, do you think we're okay? No news is good news. We don't hear from you. And if you are a sponsor yourself, keep that in mind, too. You might be like, yeah, I'm kind of broke. Can you do me? I'm like, okay, sure. But unless you're saying, hey, What's, what is your goal for next month? And then you might just kind of be like, hmm, she didn't hit your goal. That's, maybe she wants something else. Maybe it's your own contest. Or maybe she didn't hit her goal. Um, but my point of that is um, we all signed up for this business. We all came in whatever kit you chose. Oh, we don't know. We don't work here. But anyway, the point of that is um, your upline cannot help you unless they know that you need the help. So reach out to them if you don't have their contact info. And we've been told before to do mouse ears on. in around. We've been told before, too, do you remember the thing, somebody helped me out, the personality thing? Sometimes you skip a generation, so you may clash, like, not clash, but you may get along better with not your immediate mama, but the one above you. Because they always say, like, our personality is Kirsten's my second level. So Kirsten's your second level? Mm -hmm. Right? So yeah. Yeah. they say that, like, sometimes you almost skip a generation, and your personality is more similar to, like, your grandma in the family than your mama. So reach out. I encourage you to do that. Will be more than happy to help you because everybody needs help. 
And yeah, and they, guess what? All those people above us have a lot more experience than we do because they've been there longer than we have. And so they like, will. She um, just couldn't interrupt you. you, but it's not like you're going behind anyone's back either. You yeah. know what I mean? Like you should feel comfortable. We're all running yeah. the same race, and how we get there right. is up to us. What did they tell us? Stephanie and Stephanie, you're in here. We're all in this together. Yeah, right. so I mean, in, this we... business is not meant for us to do it alone. So, um, and also, this is a little. Um, this can also go through upline too. Have you forced yourself out of your comfort zone? Is it more uncomfortable to make calls than to text? Yes. Do you sometimes you have better results in talking to someone? We can't. You had better results. Yeah, but what if she would have called? She could have got more. But we'll never know. We're going to challenge her. Her next 24 hour challenge will be to call the 25 she didn't get. It's going back to school. But seriously, yelling at each other and putting your grass on the ground. But seriously, it is, we do have to do those uncomfortable things. And there's a million quotes and sayings on like, we should have had that what, the mine thing. Do you ever see the thing with all the gems? There's a guy digging, mm, and he that. stops. We've shown it every oh, couple yeah. years. He stops, and there's like a little sliver of ground left, but right beside him is a whole cat like cave full of diamonds. But he stopped because he just kept going a little bit more and reached outside that comfort zone. Maybe he talked higher soar. We just kept going. That's physical discomfort. But he would have got through, and all the diamonds would have been there. Do you know what I'm saying? So. Just, I mean, my advice is, and it's myself and to all my sisters, like, push yourself. Like, get outside your comfort zone. Do the things you don't want to do. Somebody has it in that email. Just don't put anything about the country or anything. Do the things. I'm sure they have that. Is that Adrian? Mm -hmm. It's somebody. Do the things. Like, quit living someone else's <laughs> dream. It was at 5 in the morning. I don't always bring my work phone. But. <laughs> So are you comparing yourselves to other people? Um, that is something that we can all get into, that habit of saying, oh, well, look at her, look at what she's doing, and I'm not doing this, and, you know, whatever. But the truth is, Sarah and I, we're two different people. We're all individuals. We all have individual goals and needs and wants. So if you are comparing yourself to somebody else, I strongly encourage that you need to stop. Because you yourself are somebody very special and have a lot to offer, and you don't need to compare yourself to anybody. Um, hold yourself accountable and be proud of who you are, and just be strong with what you have, and you will succeed. Um, but nobody will do this for you. You must do this on your own. It's something that you kind of need to know and make a decision, and be strong with your decision and decide that this is something that you are going to do. No matter who you're up on your sideline is, no matter what she's doing or he's doing, no matter what, you have to do this and you can do this. But you have to make that decision. We are here to support you, but we love you and you can't hold your hands the whole way. You've got to find it and dig deep in your heart and you've got to do it. Because honestly, it's sink or swim. You know, this business isn't hard. Um, learn how to show some jewelry, right? Learn how to put the show in. You go to training. I mean, it is not a hard business to make 50%. It really isn't. Mm -hmm. And we can teach you those skills. We can encourage you. We can be your biggest cheerleaders. Um, but if you don't take action and do it, it does not matter who says what to you. It's just not going to matter. My July was crappy. I'm the only one responsible for my July. I'm not going to blame it on uh, we were busy. I'm not going to blame it on um, all my shows canceled. I'm not going to blame it on my husband working crazy shifts. I'm not going to blame it on I didn't have any help. I'm not going to blame it on nobody liked me. There's no blame except for the action that I took. That's a hard thing to take sometimes. You know what I mean? Um, and all of these points, I think, are so relevant because we, as your as leaders, we cannot chase everybody around, right? We cannot beg you to come to training. We cannot beg you to do a show. We cannot beg you to make a phone call. We can encourage you. We can give you sample verbiage. We can tell you some people to make a list of, but you have to do 
And we have wanted for so long for people to succeed that we would just try and like spoon feed it, you know? Here, just give me your phone. I'm gonna send. Okay. <clears throat> it, but that doesn't help. It doesn't help. Okay. Um, training. I mean, the amount of time that the five of us put into training every month is a lot. It really is. It may not seem like a lot, but it really is. Um, and they're and they're all busy. They're all busy. I know we're all busy, but it's an hour and a half. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not trying to preach to the choir here. It's the people that aren't here that need to hear that part. But you guys are here. And I want you to know that, you know, we we really do want you to succeed. That doesn't mean your definition of success is the same as mine, is the same as theirs, is the same as Kirsten's. Nobody's business is a copycat of somebody else's business. Your success is defined in what your needs are. But you can find and meet those needs through Premier. All you have to do is commit, talk to your mama, set goals, and make a plan. And then what are you going to do? Do it. Do it. Nike said it best. Judge <laughs> So we just want you to know that we're here for you guys. When our phones are not ringing or we're not getting a text, um, on one sense you're like, yeah, everything must be okay. But on the other sense, it's really alarming. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because you're like, okay. Well, if everybody's doing so good, let's just see what the numbers say. We're like, okay, they are not doing good. Why are they not reaching out to me? Right? You, you, the phone works both ways. We can't chase you. You can't chase us, but we can meet in the middle and work on it together. Yep. Is there... Thoughts or comments? I mean, we just really okay. felt from our hearts going into the fall season is an important time, and you know, we always have the blame game in the summertime. Let's just be honest. But we can see other retailers around Premier World that don't play the blame game, and we still have awesome summer. So, you know, if there's something that's sitting on your heart or something that you want to talk about, do not leave this room tonight without speaking to your mama or to your upline or to somebody to help you set a date. You should always have your calendars with you, whether they're in your phone or on paper, and set a date. Make a plan. It doesn't have to meet in person. Maybe you do it over the phone. Maybe you FaceTime. Whatever the schedules allow. But you've got to do it. You've got to do it. You will see a whole new world when you do it. You really will. I promise you. Okay, um, big announcement. We have to your computer. Yeah, my computer Kelly died. has it on. No, my computer has died. And it's the wrong character, so we're, we gotta stop recording so the computers. Okay, dokie. Bye, everybody. We only say them because we thought of them. <laughs> and we, and we 